Well, we're waking up this morning with a different air mass in place, and we're going to warm things up over the next couple of days, eventually getting back to the 70s, but just not the bright sunshine like we had the last couple of days. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Dell here with your Thursday morning web forecast, and today it's all about location, depending on where you live, depends on what your temperature is going to be, depends on how much cloud cover or sunshine you're going to see, so we'll kind of break that down for you here in a minute. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to warm things back up. But in meteorology, it's what we call a dirty warm-up, as we're going to have some moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, getting back into our forecast here, and a little trough developing along the east coast of the United States. Could also have some scattered showers east of Highway 17, just in time for the weekend. Here's my Storm Track 12 forecast for your day today. More sunshine further north and west you go, a little bit more cloud cover south and east. So basically, Keenansville to New Bern to Oriental. That's the line I've been kind of using as a break. Now, where the sunshine's going to be out... That's where we're going to have the colder temperatures, which kind of seems a little strange. But, yeah, we were in the 30s, just barely some spots above freezing this morning. Further off to the south, we'll hold temperatures a couple degrees warmer than where we are right now, but not really all that much. Clouds roll in overnight tonight. Definitely going to be a warmer night, talking about mid to upper 40s. And then for tomorrow, a low to mid 60s as far as temperatures are concerned. Lots of cloud cover around, peak or two of sunshine from time to time. But at least it remains dry for the daylight hours tomorrow. Now, where have we been this week? Well, we've enjoyed a nice stretch of weather as we went on through the weekend. Came out of the upper 60s, got into the mid-70s the last couple days for highs. Not going to be the case, though, as we go on through the next several here. Reason for that is, is that we've got the cold air that has been brought to the area here. And the warm air has been pushed off to the south. Now, see where it is right now? It's eventually going to make a comeback as we head on in through the next couple of days. But this is the morning temperatures up in central Canada, and it is bitterly cold up there. So as a result, eventually, as we go through the middle to the end of the month, this cold air is going to find a way to get into our weather pattern. Again, today it's a brief, sharp cold shot, but the warmth down in the southwest and the Gulf Coast states are eventually going to make their way back into our neighborhood here and warm things back up. You can see what future track shows as far as the temperatures are concerned. The cold, bitterly cold air remains locked up in southern and central Canada. Meanwhile, the southwesterly winds at the jet stream level allows the warmer air to come into our neighborhood here. And we're talking mid to maybe upper 70s as we head on in through the weekend in the first part of next week. Now, you do notice some of that colder air does get tapped and pulled southbound behind a storm system. Notice Monday, a large baroclinic zone here from Atlanta at 61 to Memphis at 48 to Minneapolis at 15. So there's the front that's going to be working its way east of the mountains. Meanwhile, we're still in the 70s and we will probably only recover into the uh, mid to upper 50s as that colder air does come in on Tuesday. So this is what we have going on weather-wise. Kind of a complicated scenario here with the low-level can competing with the upper level systems. Here's what I'm talking about. Notice the swirl down here in the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to work its way across the Florida Peninsula and get off the east coast of the United States. Meanwhile, notice all the cloud cover coming up the Mississippi Valley. That is at the jet stream level, 25, 35,000 feet. And what's happening is now we've got a surface high pressure located over the northern mid Atlantic states, over New York and Pennsylvania. Low level northeasterly winds, but upper level southwesterly winds. So it's bringing that warm, moist air out of the Gulf of Mexico, overrunning the cold air at the surface here, and thus the reason that we're going to have the cloud cover getting back into our forecast here. Also, at the low levels, we'll kind of bring some of that moisture in off of the ocean, especially across the Albemarle Sound region as well. This is what future track shows as we go on through the afternoon hours today. You'll notice there's northeasterly winds bringing that moisture in off of the ocean, especially east of Highway 17 and across portions of Pender and Onslow County. Now, notice the surge of warmth coming up through the Tennessee Valley there. The clouds are back into the forecast here. As we go on through tomorrow, we'll look at uh, any showers remaining off the coast, but a lot of cloud cover around. Yes, peaks of sunshine from time to time, too. Don't get me wrong, but those low-level northeasterly winds are still with us. We'll look for temperatures into the low to mid-60s. Then you'll notice here is that trough, the system in the Gulf of Mexico, that turns a corner, comes up the eastern seaboard, as we head on through tomorrow night going into the first part of Saturday. So east of Highway 17 could be some showers scattered about for the morning hours on Saturday morning. By the afternoon, west of Highway 17, we'll start to clear the clouds out of here. We'll see sunshine temperatures into the mid to upper 70s in here on Sunday. And then that strong cold front does make its way to the area 
as we head through Monday into Tuesday. Still some difference in timing as far as that is concerned. GFS models a little bit quicker, has the front with rainfall in here during the morning and afternoon hours on Monday. European still a little bit slower, and that's kind of the timing I'm looking at right now. And depending on just how slow it comes and what time of day it arrives, could be talking about some rumbles of thunder not completely out of the question as we've got this warm surge of moist air coming out ahead of it and this bitterly arctic cold air coming behind it. So that's something we'll track for our upcoming first part of next week. Have yourself a good Thursday. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still.